One of the things people are talking about right now is the horrible list that Trump supposedly plans on making of all Muslims in this country. What most of those people don't realize is that that list pretty much already exists, along with a whole bunch of other lists our government already keeps. In 1996, President Bill Clinton signed into law the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act. That requires by federal law that the U.S. start a list of all the foreign nationals who enter or leave the country through an entry and exit screening system. Since then, Congress has passed seven separate laws requiring that those lists be kept with biometric information, meaning our government actually fingerprints everyone who comes and goes. Then, after 9-11, George Bush started another registry program, which specifically targeted Muslim men who were already living here, in addition to ones coming in and out of the country. It only lasted about a year and a half, but in that time, our country managed to add about 100,000 names to its list of Muslims. So the U.S. already has been making its lists all throughout Clinton's and Bush's and Obama's presidencies just by tracking people who come and go. But that's not even the only list we have, because we also have a ton of other watch lists. As of 2014, our government had about a million names on its terrorist watch list, thousands of which are American citizens. Now, the government refuses to give out details about the list, like its demographics or methods, obviously, because why would it ever announce who's on the list, right? But you don't have to be the biggest brain in the world to imagine just how many of those names might be Muslim, considering how our government considers terrorists to be people typically from countries that are mainly Muslim. And it's not just that we keep all these lists already, it's that our government spies on people and whole communities in so many ways. We have no idea what these lists actually look like at this point. Now, I'm not saying it's right to keep lists of anyone. I don't like these lists at all, in fact. I'm just saying we already do that. This is a reality of what our government does, what it has always done, what it will always do, regardless of whether we have a president who likes to hide it by telling everyone we're so tolerant, or if we have a president who says they think these lists make sense. The only thing that's changed right now at all, at this minute in time, is rhetoric. That's it. Tonight, let's talk about that.